Um, according to you, that ain't even your daddy. I'm screaming. Um, <laughs> not you to, screaming. That's not funny. Sorry. Um, <laughs> according to your father's screaming. looking for you, go home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you didn't already know, act like you know because it's that as well. So let's hop right into this video. So today we are reacting to this video. Did his children speak out in a shocking statement? Bieber stops eating and I'm mad. So before we hop in, you already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's just hop right into this video. Okay, guys, I am in Naples. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Hopefully everybody is okay. I'm in Naples. Shout out to anybody who's in the south of Italy. Okay. I'm just here for two days. I got the train down because why not? And let's get into this video because Diddy's children are really pissing right. me off. Hey guys, oh. it's Morales Morales. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment right. down below and give this video a thumbs up. Diddy's children have come out with a statement. Why? I don't understand. Nobody asked for this statement. <laughs> And it's really irritating me because what they're saying is an obstruction of justice. What Quincy comes out and says that the past month has devastated our family. While it's also devastated the victims. This past month, this past month, sorry, has devastated our family. Many have judged both him and us based on accusations, conspiracy theories, and false narratives that have spiraled into absurdity on social media. Mm. We stand united, mm. supporting you every step of the way. We hold on to the truth, knowing it will prevail, and nothing will break the strength of our family. We missed you and love you, Dad. Let me read that out one more time. The past. Hold on. Um. Hmm. I don't like telling people what to do in situations, in any really type of situation, unless they ask for it. But since I'm reacting to this, right, and again, I don't know these people, so boo, my reaction, <laughs> you know what I say, right, to them. But I will say this, I don't think they should have even spoken out. Um, I get them trying to, you know, basically provide a, a good character. A statement for their dad and how loving he is to them and that's also something to keep in mind it's to them because if he was so you know this love character that he portrays he wouldn't have dragged and beaten Cassie the way he did and so therefore you know as as sweet as that is um, people are just going to attack them and whether that's right or wrong it just, it doesn't feel right. But for them, it may have. But at the same time, it's just like, I wouldn't have said anything because it just puts them more under fire. And whatever brand that they have going on, it puts that at jeopardy as well, uh, you know, as individuals, his, his kids and whatnot, um, in their own image. And it just, I think if anything, it calls into question uh what they were also doing maybe during those parties or whatnot like people will dig i'm so sorry but did he beating up cassie in a hotel room is not that. a conspiracy theory I it's not that. a false narrative Oof. it is a fact because we all saw it happen we all saw the way he dragged her not once back into that room but twice as she attempted to escape that is somebody <clears throat> who the way he did that to cassie it's not the first time that has happened before and somebody like Diddy does not settle that large amount of money if all of the accusations or allegations, the majority of them, were true. Knowing this man who likes to profess his innocence and his ego, you would have thought that he would have fought that all the way to the end. Mm. I don't like what the children are doing here. You can support your dad if you want to, but support your dad and shut up. There's no need for mm. you to come out publicly and say that there are false narratives and conspiracy theories because what you're doing here is you're disrespecting the victims and the alleged victims. Mm. We know that there are factual victims, Cassie being one of them from the video that we've all seen, mm. let alone the alleged lawsuits. Yeah. Out of the majority of lawsuits, probably in my opinion, five to ten percent of them are not true or cash grabs. But the majority of them, to me, seem like they are true. But we know that there is a video that exists of Cassie and Diddy, yeah. and so I don't like what they're doing here because they're neglecting Cassie's feelings, what Cassie's been through, yeah. which is far more traumatic than what they've been through for their father. Remember, and we don't know none what of they've them been, have been through. through anything abusive with their father, from what we know of. Whereas Cassie's been through a lot more. I don't like what they're doing here. And I'm going to read out some, you know, comments of people responding. Mm. Your dad beating up a chick on the camera in a conspiracy theory. Someone said he's too grown, Quincy, to be in denial. Everybody mm. can't be lying on your dad. 
Man, men see their dad snacking beat a woman on video and they still stand ten toes down. Was better off not saying on it. Um, was better off just not saying anything. That's mm. actually what I'm saying. I'm glad the comments are agreeing mm. with me. Um, Quinty, that ain't even your daddy. I'm screaming. Um, <laughs> now you <laughs> screaming. That's not funny. Sorry. Um, Quinty, your father's screaming. looking for you. Go home. Um, damn Q, how the world saw the video of him beating Cassie, but you missed it. This is what I don't understand. It's better for them to say or address that. Mm. Or better for them to not say anything. Because yeah. it comes across very ignorant, dismissive. It's not the first time they've done this, and it's pissing me off. Oof. I don't care if you are the children of Diddy. I don't give a damn. The priority of people are not you. I'm so sorry. Even the daughters, the, even the minors of the children, none of you are the main priority. The main priority Oof. are the alleged victims and Cassie, as we saw in that scenario, who's been through X, Y, Z. They are the main priority because those are the victims in this scenario, not you guys. So when they continuously publicly make these statements, they are dismissive of these victims and it's yeah. pissing me off and also the alleged victims. Like, who woke up? intrigued about the Diddy case saying please children speak up we want you Oof. ain't nobody looking for the statements ain't nobody looking for the children ain't nobody looking for Quincy ain't mm. nobody looking for them to be saying anything but like we're not looking for that bro so your statements Oof. are pointless it's irritating it's frustrating go away Oof. go home support your dad in quiet and leave it at that I'm so sorry no one's asking you for these public statements doing up United Family like this is the colour purple and all of you have to fight when really and truly all of you had golden spoons haven't worked a day in your life have money left right and centre your father is still very wealthy all of you are still wealthy you don't know anything about struggle rent bills or how you need to work job to job you don't know or understand any of that Murad Murad Honey, not you said this ain't the color purple. Oh my God. That's crazy. But I know what he's talking about. I'm not going to, you know, grasp at other straws. But that's a, just a crazy thing to like <laughs> bring up. But I know what he's talking about. You know, like, mm, mm, he shocked the hell out of me. So please don't sit here doing family portraits like this really is the color purple. None of you guys have had to fight for your life in mm. any capacity or way. The victims and the alleged victims have had to fight for their life for what they've gone through from To our so knowledge. Please, you want to support your dad, support him in quiet, go over there, sit down and shut up because I'm sick and tired of the nonsense that you guys keep putting out here. The audacity for you to say false narratives and conspiracy theories. We've all seen with our two eyes and I've seen with my two eyes, my big nose, my big head and my big teeth I've sat there uh, and seen the video what? of the way Diddy dragged Cassie twice yeah. and beat her to a pop so meticulously and disgustingly. Yeah. And there were many a times outside of that where she was seen with bruises left, right, center. If you read through her lawsuit, Quincy, you would have read through the disgusting uh, allegations, the freak off allegations, and all the madness that she had to go through, baby oil laced up, ran through, IV fluids, and etc. All of the madness that she went through. But your oof. dumb ass wants to sit here and say false narratives. I'm, 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 I'm irritated. It pisses me off. Yeah. You don't know what happened to Kim Porter. You were not there, despite the family statements coming up from all of you guys. You were not there. And if there's a video of what he did to Cassie, there's no bounds of what this man can do. Because... Honestly, woo, that, that that's a lot to unpack because I I feel like the kids deep down in their heart, they wish that they could have been there in order to see for themselves, but they only have their dad. They only have their dad's love, their dad's trust, their dad's everything, the dad's finance. The dad the dad is a lifeline to them. And so I I I can feel feel the conundrum i can feel that the the pooling of like you know what i mean even though they that they've come out with this statement for all we know probably their publicists or some agents you know of diddy's you know um is trying to are not trying to wrote this out on their behalf and said you must hold the front you must you know uh, stand strong as a family and post this on each and everybody's uh, social media to show that y'all are standing strong with your father. Um, and I feel like they feel like that will also help with the public opinion again with this case. So I, I feel for them. I really do because they really I feel like behind closed doors they're punching the air because it's just like oh my like I couldn't imagine. I don't think that they are to that point of dismissing 
uh, allegations, even though that in this statement, but I feel like internally they must be going through it, especially for the ones that did not know or had no clue. I don't know, allegedly, all of this, but it's just like I can't imagine the internal battle to be looking at your father, hearing all of these, this like just straight up foul incriminating shit that he's done to women allegedly but not in Cassie's case because we saw that on video like Murad said but it's just like to hear that is just it's like your your brain splitting I feel like it's just like your brain splitting I, I, I really did not need to be running my mouth like this but clearly I wanted to do so but anyways um, Radar Line are reporting that Justin Bieber is barely eating he stopped um, and that speaking to Radar Line an insider stated he's obviously been very worried about the Diddy um, scenario because it drags him into headlines in a yeah. very weird and upsetting way he's barely eating and you only have to look at him to see that oh. um, and that Hayley Bieber is trying to be his support system now of course I would agree based on reports of what we've seen from you know Bieber, he does look very skinny, even in recent pictures, he definitely look, looks like he's lost weight. That loss of weight, to me, is quint is not coincidental, it parallels everything with Diddy when it started happening a month ago. Mm. So he's definitely stressed, There's def he's definitely worried, perhaps there are tapes of him doing stuff, evil stuff, or evil stuff being done to him, we don't know, but because we don't know, I'm not going to sit here and obsess over his yeah. loss of weight, I don't mm. think it's inappropriate, no, it's but very like I said to you guys many moons ago, Bieber and Usher two components cannot escape this conversation until Diddy is sentenced and is declared in court that they have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Only then they can stop being spoken about. Yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, they're both public, you know, individuals. So I don't want anyone to be saying, oh, we shouldn't be speaking on them. So sorry, they're very public. They're associated with Diddy. That's just how this world works. And so, you know, there's either tapes of Bieber being ran through, unfortunately, or there's tapes of Bieber running through people. It's either or, to be honest with you, or even both, we don't know. So I just feel like the Bieber defenders, you don't need to calm down because we don't know. So there could be a possibility that he also was an alleged victim, but there is a very small line between being a victim and then turning into an abuser. It I'm going to stop it right there and I'm going to link the video down below so you guys can finish hearing what Murad Morali wants to say. But um, I'm just going to end it on this note, especially on with Justin Bieber also being involved. Let I remind you, he was a literal child. So if they choose to uh, or if they find some sort of evidence that reveals that stuff was being done to him as a child, as a child, that should not be disclosed to the, to the, to the public. That should be held in court and sealed because it was happening to him as a child. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to have to discuss that or give my opinion because there is no opinion. Um, and him losing weight, like... I, I really, I, I hope that it's just stress from just even being associated with this entire thing. Not that he's done anything, but, uh, again, with Diddy's kids, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna stand up for him because that's their dad. That's, he's literally their everything. They don't have their mother, you know, he's their everything. So yeah. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this video down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!